Is uh, sustainability important? Sustainability is extremely important. And I, I also know it's one of the things that's, um, again, very important. The, one of the focus areas of yours as well and all business all, all over the world, actually, every ship that comes out is more um, environmentally friendly and more fuel efficient than the previous. So for example, Edge was 20% more efficient than the ship before her, Apex 20% more efficient than Edge, and Beyond is 20% more efficient than um, even Celebrity Apex. And the entire industry is looking for ways to um, burn different fuels, alternative fuels. We're, we're looking at what's gonna be available globally because we sail globally and we need to fuel our ships globally. We need engine builders to be able to be, build large enough engines for our ships to burn these alternative fuels. And, uh, and we're looking at that toward the future. But there are, you know, I encourage anybody that's listening to go online and look at our corporate sustainability report, but we are, we're heavily focused on ESG, we're heavily focused on sustainability. We have so many systems on board that um, are purifying, recycling, um, you know, weight, whether it's waste, whether it's carbon, um, everything on board is recycled. Pretty much nothing is offloaded from the ships at all. But when we introduced Celebrity Edge, we introduced her with a reduction of 90% of the guest single-use plastics. And we've done that across our entire fleet of ships. So um, uh, we, we have over 2,000 sustainable shore excursions in all of the places that we visit. And, uh, and we also have positive impact tours on Celebrity. Uh, so we are, we're very, very focused on sustainability, yes. Yeah, could you, could you just say a few more words, Lisa, about how you work with uh, the ports of call uh, often in uh, uh, emerging economies? I'm thinking in the Caribbean, for example, you know, how you help uh, those economies, not just directly with the expenditure of uh, uh, the passengers or the purchase of fuel locally, but other ways in which you impact the local economy positively? Well, you know, we provision in all of the ports that we visit around the world. So not only do our guests go into the ports um, and visit different businesses, uh, we, you know, when I mentioned the positive impact tours for celebrity, we take our guests deeper into the communities. We, we look for small businesses and business owners, minority business owners, women business owners, so that we can leave places better than we found them. Um, we plant trees in different destinations. You know, the, the Galapagos is a big, de big destination for celebrity. We built the first, um, ship specifically built for the fragile ecosystem uh, in the Galapagos. And we also have a tree planting program with all of our guests uh, to, uh, to replant uh, the, the rainforest there. We, um, you know, we also, I think a lot of people know that many of our partners, especially in the Caribbean are terribly impacted by hurricanes and storms and disasters, earthquakes that happen all over the world in the places that we visit. And we very much uh, support those economies and people and bring provision and supplies um, so that we are always looking to contribute in very different and meaningful ways as an industry that really no other industry does. Uh, can we talk about sustainable human capital for a moment? And perhaps you could Tell us a little bit about what Royal Caribbean and Celebrity did regarding uh, the crew of all of your uh, vessels during the COVID period. Yeah, you know, people always ask me, ask me, what is the, what's the best thing about being back in business? And I always say, you know, hand on heart, it's bringing our crew back to work because they were so um, severely impacted when we when our industry had to shut down and many of them were out of work for up to two years. But we established um, a, a Royal Caribbean Cares program for our crew all over the world who were um, experiencing death in their family due to COVID, 
losing their home due to COVID or, or not being able to uh, make a living while they were, you know, while they were out of work, while we were shut down. Um, and we contributed millions and millions and millions of dollars to that fund to help our crew get through until we until we came back into service.